One, two, three. One, two, three. What is going on, everyone? I am Emma Reach, and this is Dead Rising again. And there's a bit of a cutscene. Maybe after this loading screen? Maybe not. Nope. Need to go to the security room for that. Jamming device. Let's do it. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? Uh, you know of anything else he could be planning? No. Nothing but the bombs. He's got his computer hidden away. I'm sure there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? To his hideout? Leave it to me. Yeah, now we get to go to Carlito's hideout. That'll be fun. It is the last case. Where's the safe? Let's save. Give it safe. Right. Uh, anything back here that I could take? No, there's no food. Well, that's no fun. Um, I've already got a sweet Mega Buster that's all good to go, and let's go. Actually, I'm looking forward to starting Dead Rising 2. Because, I mean, the AI alone is so much better. I actually be able to save survivors and that. <laughs> Come on, Isabella. Can you fall? Uh, Alright, I need to talk to you, don't I? Let's go. Come with me! Or, I'll go with you, I suppose. Uh, what were you going? You going the elevator way? You are going the elevator way. You would, you would go the elevator way, wouldn't you? Annoyance. Look, see, this is what happens when you go the elevator way. This would not go well, in real life. <laughs> like, you would just get- Ow! That would happen. You would just get exactly what happened to me. <laughs> but there'd be no zombie in real life. So, rip. Ripperino. I wish I got the baseball bat from upstairs. By upstairs, I mean like on the roof. It's on the roof, and it's going fast, and I'm spinning round in circles. Um, because I can. <laughs> Man. Legend. Frank West. The legend. Legendary. I'm gonna pick up your bowie knife, or hunting knife as it's called in this, because it's a pretty good weapon against the zombies. The one hit killing zombies, which is sweet. Isabel, how you doing? You're right there. Good. Also, in Dead Rising 2, it like, has a little signal above their uh, above their character picture thing that shows, Hey, I'm ready to go. Right, don't run into me, please. It's very rude. Uh, Isabella, Anyone there? I can't do that. I need to go upstairs for a second, Isabella. You don't die or anything, please. Um, And I'll just be right with you. Ah, I dodged. Shut up. Dodge Challenger. <laughs> hey, look, Colby's Movie Land. I wonder if that guy worked there. Like, where did they all, why are they coming to the mall? I don't understand that. Why do psychopaths come to the mall? Uh, the meaning of this game. Colombian Roastmaster. I actually meant to get orange juice this morning, but I forgot. Because I went over to get some stuff at the supermarket behind me. By my house. Uh, it's not really a supermarket, it's just a store. And uh, I forgot to get it. Rookie mistake. Trying to pick it again. Huh. I'm actually surprised to get the buttons right there, because I've been playing off the record and it's different commands for the knee drop and that. Yeah. Ow. Get off of me, please. Thank you. Isabella, don't shoot me. Very rude. Oh. Isabella, come on! Oh, fucking hate survivors in this game. Worst part, oh well, at least you saved me from that, I suppose. Stop shooting them and run. Don't have a goddamn day. Oops. Yeah. Jesus Christ, seriously. Come on. So frustrating. It's like. Like, the inf like in Dead Rising 2, the. Well, first of all, the zombies are actually programmed to. Avoid the survivors if Chuck's nearby, but if they can't get to Chuck, then they'll go for the survivors. And uh, like every now and again, they'll maybe like try and grab a survivor. But other than that, that's as far as it goes. And this goddamn game, they're, they're like program the survivors are programmed to constantly try and fight the zombies, unless there's like a direct clear path to wherever they're going. And it's really annoying. It's like the worst part of this game. They really should have changed that when. Uh, oh my god, they really should have changed that when they remade this game. Like, it's, I don't know why they didn't. It's like the worst part of the game. And it's still in it. Ten years later. And it's not as if they don't know how to do it, considering off the record, Dead Resident 3 and Dead Resident 2. And Case West and Case Zero. God damn it, I press B. Hacker. Alright, annoyed. <laughs> right. Oh, I need to open up my notepad. Not my notepad. Oh, sticky notes. And by that, I mean on my actual PC, not in IRL. <laughs> right, there we go. Let's go. I remember the last time I 
or one time I tried this. Um, see what I mean? Then Resident 2, they wouldn't have done that. They would have just run by the th zombie. And look, what is she doing? She's like running all the way along. See that? Mm. She runs all the way here just to fight. Oh, look at the weird shadows. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's a glitch, but it's a kind of cool glitch. I like it. Isabella, I swear to God. It's gonna start slashing. <laughs> London Alright, you gonna make it. I sliced her. Isabella, I swear to God, if you don't turn around and start running. Jesus Christ. I'm really looking forward to starting that Resident 2 and getting done with this game. The only thing is, I'm not even done with this game. Because I did so bad in the Survivor Rescue, I still need to play through it like two or three other times. And I actually will need to because of the uh, achievements. Won't be getting all the achievements in one playthrough. Like uh, Frank the Pimp, won't be getting that in the same. Ow! Won't be getting that in the same uh, playthrough as the food one. And Sharp Dressed Man. Or. Sharp dresser, whatever it's called. Phone. Silence. Knifed. 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 You're a queen, I'm gonna take you actually. You can be helpful. Isabel, how you doing? Right, you good. Oh, that's wrong button. <laughs> Remember how I was just saying about I was surprised to get the right the buttons right because I was playing Dead Rising off the record? Yeah. Look what I did. He's like, oh is that an actual picture? Wait, that's pictures that I've taken. I just realised that. Those pictures there are pictures that I've actually taken. No, I want it back. I want it back. I'll take the baton. No, please. Thank you. Also, yeah, the hideout, Carlito's hideout is like right near. I'm going to take that October 4. Uh, Carlito's hideout is right near the, uh, what, uh, what's his face? His gun store. Carlito's. Come on. Right, good, she's running. Oh, give me that knife. I think, I don't know what's better between this and this. Oh, absolutely this. This. Ow. Excuse me. Yeah, no, that thing's awesome. The knife is like... Oh, what? I thought she was behind me. Alright, she's like challenging our head now. She's like, ha! Ah, I don't need you, Frank. I'm out of here. Can you stop hitting me? Zombies. Seriously. The frustration levels. Right. Come on. No, please. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm also going to try and get uh, Snowflake in the Dead Rising 2 playthrough. See how that goes. <laughs> if it goes at all. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Also, uh, Dead Rising, like, too off the record. I don't know why I keep saying the entire name. Off the record is a really weird game to play online. It glitches and it crashes and it does not go well. And it's really annoying. There you go. Alright, there's nothing here apart from here. But they're not really in the way, are they? Guaranteed she'll stop and start shooting at these zombies. Ow! <laughs> Alright, she didn't. Good. Well done. Something weird about her name, uh, Isabel is usually spelled with two L's. I mean, like, three L's, but like, single L then double L. Here it is. Let's go. Yeah, we're back now. Get in there! Ooh, Project Scorpio, fun. I wasn't reading stuff, shut up. <laughs> right, uh, what is this entire bit anyway? I don't remember. No good. It's password protected. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff. Things like that. What's this cable? It looks like part of a jamming device. I won't be able to disable it unless I log in. Headed back now. Right. 
So yeah, I think this is the military now, which is going to be fun. Military is always fun in games. Especially Dead Rising's games. Because, uh, they're so good! <laughs> game, saved success game saved successfully. So I, was, I, re I reckon I could get this done today and Resident Evil 4 finished today as well. And then uploaded in like the next three or four days. Or maybe three or four days for this, but maybe a bit longer for Resident Evil. Since these videos go longer than Resident Evil videos. Yeah, maybe. Uh, loading. Roundhouse kick. Is there a level 50 achievement in this game? Don't know. I think, yeah, I think there is. I know there's one in Dead Rising 2, and off the record. Don't know about this one though. There may be. Look at all these zombies. I should go and get some, ow, shotguns from uh, Quitsies. But, nah. <laughs> that means backtracking. I can't be bothered with backtracking. Don't like backtracking. I'm a Resident Evil. I like Resident Evil, but I don't like backtracking. The irony. If you know like anything about Resident Evil, you understand what why that is ironic. How much? Uh, yeah, that's good. I don't really need the camera to be honest, but whatever. Ha! <laughs> Surprise! Oh, there's an achievement to take down a helicopter as well. I keep forgetting that as well. It's like right at the end when the military comes in. Best way to do it is the Mega Master, as always. Because it always is. And the dog's barking. That was a delayed reaction. Dog barked like, and then like three seconds later I was like, and the dog's barking. <laughs> that gun that guy had? No, bland. Ban. God damn it. No! It's a rock. I'll take a rock, sure. Rock. Wrong button. Rock. Missed. Oh, I didn't miss. Ha! <laughs> uh, this one's the most damaged one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See? Told you. It's a boomerang. I made the decapitator. God damn it, run button again. I made the de decapitator in Dead Rising uh, and off the record yesterday. Last night it was pretty cool. I got a combo card for it and then I, like, I. Because I don't really. Oh, the hell's going on? Oh, I'm going wrongly. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a combo card for it and I never, like, really search out things unless it's, like, Knife Gloves Defiler and uh, Pull Weapon. So I never really, like, paid attention to it, but then I did see a boomerang next to Antoine's food. Uh, Antoine's restaurant, and I was like, yeah, there's probably a kitchen knife in here, right? Uh, there was, and I made it, and it was awesome. Good for clearing out a lot of zombies. It's similar to the disc blades, actually. And the plate launcher. Plate launcher is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Excuse me. And all the shading's going Arr! really weird in this game. I should go to Kobo's movie land and get the ceremonial sword. Because that thing lasts quite a while. I might actually do that. How long have we got left before this case ends? Uh, screw it, I don't care. I'm gonna go get it. And throw you in the face. I missed. Wow. I literally missed from like a foot and a half away. Amazing. I was looking at Xbox One bundles last night. And uh, they're actually really damn cheap. For like an, a different, like a new version of a console. Uh, it's really goddamn cheap, especially with a bundle. Because like you can get the Battlefield One bundle. It's like 249.99. Uh, and that's pounds, so I don't know what it is in dollars. Probably like $300 or something. Uh, but like that's Battlefield One pre order. And the brand new Xbox One S for less than two hundred and fifty pound. Technically, it's pound. It's a pence less, less, but still is less, <laughs> uh, which is incredible to me. Oh, you got some shit. Cool. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Small one. Which one? A handgun. She's gonna kill herself for someone. Guaranteed. Right. Knife. Go away. You come here. Right. I'm gonna go get a handgun in that case because uh, she's probably gonna kill someone with it. What I care. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna get some OG in the way by. Right, where can I get a handgun around here? The cops should have it, but they don't. None of like none of the cops dress like that. I don't think have a handgun. They all have batons, but the cops. Ow! Oh, the cops that are dressed in like the lighter clothes uh, in Wonderland Plaza specifically, they have handguns. Just try to remember where would I get a handgun in this? In this? Wait, it doesn't bin. Sometimes you get a handgun in the bin. Ow! Zombie! Be sure. Run! Break! <laughs> all right, take it. Run away! Aha! I win. Uh, the queen. Sure, I'll take the queen. God damn it! Right, what did I get out of the bin? Did I get anything out of the bin? Don't think I got anything out of the bin. Unless a hunting knife came out of the bin, but I don't think it did. Hmm. Whatever. Maybe this bin will have one. Have a handgun. Hey, handgun! Nah. Nope, that's a knife. There we go. Yes! Dead right. Oh wow, look at my health. <laughs> I should probably heal. Heal up! So that does, what, like four? Yeah, cool. Here's a hint for uh, survivor mode, infinity mode even. Um,
get the magazines, the two magazines, because one uh, orange juice, t- uh, like bottle of orange juice, will last you all the way through to, like from one uh, block of health, it'll last you all the way to, to the twelfth when you've got full health, because it increases the effectiveness by hundred, two hundred percent, I think, or one hundred fifty percent. Can you get off me, please? <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty damn good. Excuse me. <laughs> Lol. Zombie. Oh, come on. I hate it when they grab you as soon as you land. So like you can't avoid that and it's bullshit. <laughs> they can't do that. Or they could, but I mean, it's almost as if it was like deliberately programmed in that they do that. And it's really frustrating. God damn it. Right, food. There we go. It's not even food, but still. Right, uh, I'm not going to use you because you have a downward attack. Oh, what? I did the. Fine. I did the downward attack. I finally didn't register. Ah. <laughs> and by downward attack, I mean the. Uh, the knee drop. I'm not gonna waste all the ammo on this. I don't have to keep it. I'm just gonna keep it out because I can actually jump kick with this. And jump kicking is awesome. That's not awesome though. Man, they take you down like 8 out of 10 times in this. Why? They never used to do that in the 360. As far as I remember. Hackers. <laughs> that was a. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Come on. I clearly should. You know what? Fuck you. Get up. Missed. There you go. Oh, oh Frank, we do. I keep forgetting it's the way the camera's pointing. Watch me not realise how low ammo this thing has. And like, I waste all the ammo on it and I'm like, no! Nah, it's not good. I got it under control. I'll equip this. Because jump kicking is fun. Uh, right. So this case, uh, right now I think, is the one where the military comes in. Maybe. Hopefully. Because if it is, then, uh, you know, Jesse dies. And I get to get another achievement. Yeah! Yo. <laughs> I wonder what Dead Rising 4 is going to be like. I wonder what Resident Evil 7 is going to be like. Can I have you about that? With all the weird stuff in it. Oh, well, yeah. There's a baseball bat. It's a pretty good weapon. I'm going to take it. I used to use this all the time in the Wii version. Oh. Baseball bat and the steel pipe and the lead pipe even. Best weapons in the Wii version. Because in the Wii version you couldn't jump so there was no katana. And also there was no fire axe. I don't even know if there's a fire axe in this version. But still. Kind of weird. Right, you've got plenty of ammo, let's go. Take a look at this. The guy being dragged? I think it's Carlito. You could be right. Where is this? The basement of the North Plaza. Right in front of the butcher's shop. Ooh, Carlito is gonna get eaten. Or, serve to get eaten anyway. <laughs> Let's go! Do they see any clothes in them? They do. Greg and Otis. What's Otis's last name? I don't really remember. Oh, Greg is Greg Simpson. That's about it. Right. Let's go. The Butcher. This has not got a long time left in it. Jesus. Um, right. So, this isn't the case I thought it was. What's the one after this, then? So, yeah, okay. Right. Whatever. Right, let's go. <laughs> I was about to say I'm just talking to myself, but then I realised that I'm talking to myself. That's all, like, that, that's what this is. Unless, uh, like, someone watches it. Then I'm not really talking to myself, but you know. Whatever! Aha! Aha! No, you didn't die. You need to die. In the face. Oh, brutal. I love doing that. Like, if you time it right as they're getting up, you can smack them in the face with a weapon. Same thing with, like, all the old Resident Evil games. Like, the, like, Zero H or the original one, Outbreak, Outbreak Fails 2. If, uh, you put a zombie in the floor, and then, like, as it's getting up, like, it just, like, goes onto its knees and, like, sits upright, you can, like, swing a pipe at it and it'll smack it in the face. Pretty damn fun. <laughs> it's like execution style. What did I do? I did something. Oh, it was execution in the Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Because with the Red 9, uh, when it gets to a certain level of firepower, uh, it will work. You can kill Ganados, Zealots, and uh, Soldiers in two hits. And that's like shooting them either in the head than the leg or the leg than the head. But I like doing the leg than the head because if you shoot them in the leg, they go down onto the knees. And then you just like put the gun right at their forehead and pull the trigger. And it's pretty cool. It's just like funny. 